Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are carrying on in Satisfactory in the experimental build. Um, so I have over at our quartz mine set up it so it's just stupidly big. Um, so what I wanted to do now, that's why I've got so much quartz, uh, was build our modules. So I need to get these built first. I really do need to get a better reinforced iron plate system doing because I still build it manually myself at the moment um, because the other one is currently always going into the frames which the modular frames the modular frames just take up so many of I think it's like three or four each um, and that's being produced slow because then we're also being behind on the screws so we just we just need a major major overhaul which I think we might just and on an episode just make those plates because that would just be perfect wouldn't it so I need I can make 12 of these now so let's make oh it's four I thought it was five we needed okay all right so I'll make 10 at the moment because I can't remember what everything we need them for I know five needs to go into research but I don't know how long the research is going to take um, like I think it was like 20 minutes right so that's 10 Right, so if we go into research, we can do quick wire. We still need to research our quick wire. Alien organs, which I still haven't done. Uh, so, it, oh no, it's 10 of these. Okay, and it's going to take us 23 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's going to be running for a while. Uh, but what did we need that uses those? Oh, it was these. We've already done those. We've already got the, the explorer, so that's okay. Truck. No, that's just heavy modular frames. Was there anything else that needed it? I swear there was something else. So we've got conveyors. They're all fine. They just need reinforcements. They need quick wire. So we should maybe get some quick wire and bring that across. But um, <laughs> one of you did say that one of our quick wire mines is out of alignment. And I've got to go check this because that's going to uh, OCD me. Because over on the, the quartz mine, the way the mine is positioned on one of these nodes, it doesn't line up with then the splitter that's right behind it, so it, it just looks a little bit weird, and <laughs> it really just scrambles my brain a little bit. Um, so I'm hoping in a future update we can get things to snap to others, um, because yeah, that otherwise that it's just going to annoy me every time I walk past it. I'm going to see it, um, and I do like everything kind of in lines and working because like this area every time I come past steel oh my god it like yeah just everything looping over each other and everything like that I think we're actually absolutely ram packed on steel uh, if this is stopped so that is brilliant and then we're back over to our quick wire production which is all over here I think this might have stopped as well because we have been running it for quite a bit um, quartz was about Four or five hundred quartz in each storage module, and I've got eight storage modules, so we are producing that like crazy. Um, so these should all be in line, and yeah, see, this is these are almost full. So these are all in line. They're in line with that. Is that one not in line? Wait, no, that's got. Two in a bit, two in a bit. No, these look in line. Is it, oh, is it these at the back that I've missed? Mm, that could be a possible. How am I stuck on a pole? Seriously, get off me. Um, no, they're all lined up. I don't know if you guys are trying to pull my leg. That's all aligned. I remember you being able to climb up these. There it is. So if I do that. You're all in a line. And so are you. Yeah, they're all in line. Everything's lined up. <laughs> Meanies. <laughs> you maybe come over here for nothing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's all perfectly fine. Um, so today's episode, what I wanted to do was try and set up ourselves a truck hub to bring quartz back and then possibly build ourselves a manufacturer to start getting things. Or should we start building an area just for screws? That could be a good idea. 
because what else have we got to create? So we still need to make one of these, which is heavy modular frames and computers. But currently, ah, are we making computers though? That would be a good thing to check. Um, because I definitely need to find a way to actually start making computers. And then we also need to start making some heavy modular frames so I don't have to keep making them myself. And these should be jam-packed. Yeah, these are absolutely rammed, which is fantastic. So, if we were going to make heavy modular frames, we need the frames, those, reinforced concrete, uh, and then screws, as always. And then computers, was plastics, that, more, oh, computer chips, plastics, and of course more screws. So, I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking the screws are definitely the way forward. So... Back at our base, there is two iron modules, uh, two nodes down by the... Actually, while we're here, let's get some more of the... What do I need, guys? What do I need? Think about it. Think about it. Uh, these. Um, the steel beams. We're going to need quite a few of those. Let's just take a few. That's allowing construction of that all to work. Which is great. Look, look at this just piling out. Like These are just stacked up. Look how beautiful this all is. Everything's running. Yes. Uh, I think eventually we're going to have to put mar uh, tier 4 conveyor belts on those. Which will be just a pain running around trying to put everything to a tier 4. Uh, but as soon as we have them on production automated. Which we could technically do if there is that many there. All we need is a concrete system. And then we've got those. So... Maybe that could be either this episode or next episode as well, depending how quickly we can create these screws. Because we can just build all this stuff down here and then move stuff up to here. Because, of course, we have conveyor belts. Uh, but I can't remember if these were pure or are these normal. These are normal. Okay, so these are going to give me 120 a minute. Both iron. So what we need to do is... Actually, we need to get rid of this, for one. And we need to bring down the modules itself so everything's built on the same platform. And I think we might actually get rid of that and build that onto a platform as well. A bit of bit of housekeeping, basically, I think, for today. So we get rid of stairs. Then that's all that, because what we want to do is bring this one out to about there, I think. Fall off the edge. Thank you. Yes, I know I hurt myself. Come on, you got, you got to snap underneath. There we go. Change that to six so we get double heights. And I believe that one will be tall enough. Let's have a look. If I jump up here... Uh, I'm not going to be able to build them straight away, so it would be quite good to check before I do anything else. Because uh, sometimes they can be a bit too tall. So, what do I need for this? I need my reinforced concrete. So that's easy because I've got... What the... Oh, I somehow just matched that up onto two. Uh, what was on there first? Is that cables, power lines, you were two. Stop changing all my stuff. Um, so for that, for one, just because it's going to bug me, I'm going to put a six on that. Um, and now, now, do I put stairs here? To be honest, I could probably put a lookout tower here. Just for the ease, because it's nice and cheap at the moment. And then just jump down here. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's makeshift. I like it. It, it kind of works. Um, so this one has got lots of screws waiting for it. What was this for? This was rotors. Maybe as a thing at the moment I should... Oh, no, because that, that would have to put a merger on it. Yeah, that would be a pain, wouldn't it? Okay, right, so let's leave that as it is. Let's, let's try not to mess with that one. That one's working, so that's fine. Um, what did we want to do? What were we doing, guys? Ah, we were getting all these stuff together to make the mines. Oh my god. My mind has gone a little bit scrabbled. 
Um, so we wanted to make four portable miners, which we currently can't do because we don't have the space. So I'm going to have to move some food across, some of that across. Yeah, let's sort that out so we've got some extra stuff. Uh, we don't need you, and I don't really need coal. I definitely need don't need wood. So let's get three more of these. Luckily, it's right around the corner, so we don't have to faff around too much for it. Uh, we don't need any more of that. But what we do need is reinforced encased industrial beams. I don't know why I keep calling them reinforced, but technically they are reinforced. You know, encasing a steel beam would definitely reinforce it, wouldn't it? So from that, then we need smelteries. So these will be, be producing... Oh, so you're a normal one, which is producing 60. So you're going to be choosing 120, and you take in 30 a minute. So I'm going to need four per. This is going to get huge. Which technically I could just upgrade these, but I think I just want a specific area just making it, and then we can do something with it from there. So I'm going to need eight smelteries. And then from a smeltery that produces 30 ingots. Then 30 ingots go into a constructor at 15 a minute. So I'm going to need 16 constructors. Uh, this is going to get mega. So I'm going to need 16 constructors. We're going to need plenty of mergers and stuff like that, aren't we? Just This is going to go mental. Um, so what do I currently need? I need si I need 48 industrial plates. Don't need that. Um, so do I have enough screws for that? I have six screws. So I'm going to say no. And plate-wise, I have 47. So I'm definitely going to need some more plates. But you can see how this is going to go mega. Like These areas here, I'm hoping to do basically the same thing. Um, but at the moment I want to build things away from the main base so not everything is like literally on top of each other because otherwise that, that just you know gets hella confusing doesn't it if you've got things built on top of each other then but then we could just build conveyor lifts couldn't we and then just have a massive stacked story of just everything being constructed which could work in our favour really uh, so how many do I need of these? I need 38 more. So that's fine, we should be able to do that. Just a couple more and then we can construct them. There we go, 38. And then I believe that's everything we need for two minor Mark IIs, eight smeltery, <laughs> 16 constructors. I can see us building this one out. Um, we're definitely going to move the space elevator because of this one. Um, because we're going to just run out of space. Like, that area is basically just going to be built up now. And it's just going to be producing one thing. It's going to be producing screws and rods. That's pretty much all I want it to make. Um, so we should have plenty of concrete. Because we're going to need to do a lot. So let's check now if the miner will snap. Okay, so it is currently too tall. It fits on that one, it doesn't find that one. Okay, so it's currently too tall, so we're going to have to basically bring everything down. Which is easily done. Which is why I like to check, just in case, because last time when I built it on the quartz one, I built the whole platform, and then all of a sudden it was like, yeah, you can't, you can't go onto here? And I was like, oh... Oh, okay. Uh, so that was that, that, and then we want to build onto this. See, that's then not tall enough, though. That's the thing. Alright, so here is your, your area. Right, let's cover all of that. I'm just going through ideas now, just to just to see if we can actually make it. So this is currently 
too tall. Hmm. So that's too tall. The other one would be too short. That is strange, isn't it? Because then I would be building basically on this height. You would have thought it would be able to just go a little bit higher. I think we just have to live with that. It kind of encroaches into the node. So let's try that now. Yeah, see now that actually works. So I can turn that one that way. Okay, so that's sitting on the node. And then if we just build out this way, like this is going to be a huge system. Um, so if I boom, 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 let's get rid of you. Um, I think we're going to get rid of these because I think that looks pretty bad. But at least now I know we're on the same height now. Um, so I can sit comfortably with that. Let's so build you in. Basically, this whole area is just going to be turned into a little concrete jungle, really, um, of everything. We can't get rid of these stones yet, not with the explosions. Um, I think that possibly might come in future ones. You, so far, with all my testing, you can only get rid of the ones uh, which are already partially cracked. So, like, things blocking your way. Um, which is kind of understandable, because you could... You could just destroy basically everything you wanted to on this if if you were to be able to you know reshape the land. Right, so let's get you like that. Okay, right, so we need another miner. You're gonna go there. Perfect. Right, yeah, it's a shame that this is here. Uh, do I not just saying I don't have any fuel. Do I not have any fuel on me? No, stop getting it. No, I don't have any on me. Okay, so we're going to have to get some more before we can do that. Because we're going to have to cut down quite a lot of few things. Because there's a lot of things in the way right now. Uh, and if we want to make this a nice, efficient area, we're going to need all the free space that we can get. Uh, so that is definitely going to go... That should... Yeah, that does that. That's fine. Okay, so I'm thinking we want to build the smelteries going this way for this side. Um, so if I get the smelteries, because yeah, I think that's, that's too far encroaching on that rock. Uh, but I think I want everything sort of squared off. So if we put things... So if I go with... Let's go logistics first. We want a splitter. Want it going in. Now, is this not going to match up as well? Because this is this, this on the last time. Yeah, look, you can see it's just off. It's just off center. Which is a bit annoying. Because um, then it's just, it's just slightly off angle. And it's like, mm, if only it didn't do that, then everything would be kind of perfect. <laughs> Uh, so we want a smeltery because that tree it's going to go there isn't it so yeah where's our tower look out tower turn the thing around this is one way to get up and down places it does make life a little bit easier and what have I just come up here for guys ah more fuel for destroying trees so I need I don't know if it's biofuel or just fuel it needs have I got any fuel in here I haven't moved any across into this one I might have just left it in this one uh, that is fuel I don't know if that goes into this one uh, let's have a look why can I not No, it looks like it only takes biofuel. Which is fine, because I've got 200 here, so that should then keep that running. Let's take some food. Yeah, I'm running out of food again as well. So I have to go out and hunt some stuff up. Um, I wish you could turn off the noise of the the chainsaw. Well, I'm assuming you can, because you can just, just swap your, your thing across. But um, 
Just wish it would be a little bit quieter, because it is quite loud if it just sits there just idling. Uh, so that's going to have to go. This one's going to have to go, because you're currently in the way of pretty much everything. Um, it'd be, yeah, it's a shame you can't get rid of these. Like, it would be so much better if you could. Uh, so we get rid of that one. Okay, so logistics-wise, we want another one of you. But do we want to bring it out to the same length as this one? And then try and... See, because that's going to be off as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's still slightly off, which is a bit of the pain. Uh, but hey, what can we do? So, smell trees. I think I'm going to smart. Uh, smart. Start one here. Uh, basically, getting as close as I can to that one. And then build them like that. So, there's four on that side. And then what I want to do is put one basically in line with that. How close can I get? Okay, so we're going to have to bring that across a bit. And that one, and then that one. And that's quite close there. Uh, so they should all be lined up perfectly. I'm hoping. So its foot is basically on the line. Its foot is on the line. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Right, so they're all lined up. I actually need to check just in case, you know, things are not lined. So logistics again, we're going to go for lots of splitters. I think I prefer the splitter method. Um, and then just getting things to filter through itself. Uh, that's going to have to come down. And then we're going to put another splitter on here. Perfect, so that's all going to go in that way. And then this one's a little bit easier because that one's already got a connection through. Uh, but you're there, you're there, and you're there. And then what I can do is just go around. Oh, have I done these the wrong way around? I have, haven't I? Every single one of these is the wrong way around. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that. Right, so let's try that again, shall we, guys? So, smell trees need to go that way. Yes. Okay, now they should be lined up. Yes, hoping, is hoping. So, good, that goes into there. Okay, right, so you need yourself a smeltery. So let's get you tagged on, so that's you there. And that's you there. And then you're going to need them over here. So as long as we're in line over there and there, it should click together. I like it when you can just see all the lines just linking together. It just makes life so much easier. So you're done. Done. Oh, other way. Um... You're going to there, you're going to there. And then you're going into there. Right, so then we can power pole it. Don't think there is enough gap here. No, but there is here. So one for there and one for there. And that will link into that system. And then you guys still need your Cabling, so you're going that way. There, you're going to there. 
pretty much I'm just, just going to set everything up so everything is running smoothly. Um, and that should be everything. Only thing we need is your two. Need a power pole and then you two, you need a power pole. Done. It's nice because everything sort of sits in together. Because uh, then we can put you to you, you to you. It's nice because we've got the power for it really. So um, do I want to put a power pole right next to you or do I want to put a power pole up there and then run it down? I think we're going to put one there at the moment. It might shift because I might want to tidy everything up and make it look uh, tidier. I want to tidy everything up and make it look tidier. Oh my god. I'm slightly tired. <laughs> uh, so that's going there and then going to that one. Um, and then... What I'm wanting, technically then, do I want just another power pole here to just... If I take that one off. You into there. And one of you over that way, one of you over that way. So you would all be powered up and ready to mine if I connect to you to actually the base. So I want... What do I want, guys? Lookout tower, as always. Our little... Nice little staircase up to places. Which just saves a lot of time, doesn't it? Because then we can just jump across. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> um, <laughs> should we try that again? So we'll climb up this and hopefully jump across, not just fall off. There we go. Good little bit of a jump. Um, and then if I just put a power pole right on the end. And then I can drop that down straight into you. So that should get everything running. Oh no, of course it won't because you're currently not connected to anything. Wow, I'm such an idiot. So that's already got four. You've got four. So maybe let's run it down here. I did not know you could turn those. That's a bit weird. Uh, so if I run that down to there. And then if we get take that one off. Put that one to there, and then this one back to there. Now, how are we doing on power anyway? We're still not using a lot. Like, I really thought we were going to be using a stupid amount of power. And again, these are only just going to start producing in a second. And then everything currently hasn't even been set to what it wants. Yes, yeah, so that's a bit of ground, so that's fine. Uh, and then these will be doing iron ingots. And that's your only job. This is where the power is going to start being used now. Because we've got these and then... Oh, when I have to put the 16 constructors out, that's when we're going to have major power units. Um, so we might actually have to start using... Like, doubling up on our coal and getting all that up ready. Because, yeah, all these are being used now. So let's have a look. Uh, the current using 400. Okay, so we're getting into the 500 scope soon. Uh, I think all these are keeping up. And then what we're going to need from here is basically enough space to start building out. Because this is literally just going to be a bolt construction area. Uh, so what I'm going to do is... Bye-bye. Space elevator. Oh, look at that all just coming down. Uh, is that going to store a box over there? I had enough space for everything? Why do I think that that's a lie? Yeah, because you didn't give me the 500... The, all the stuff back. Strange. Okay, well we can build that again at some point. Um, it's, not, it's not too desperate as not having it, because we currently can't use it uh, for the next expansions because they're currently not in the game yet so we don't have to worry too much about it. But I do like having this new area to expand to which 
is basically what we're here for, isn't it? We're just basically we, we're finding out everything in the game, uh, and then we're just wanting to basically just go crazy and produce some sort of super factory, um, and then <laughs> see where we can go from there. Really. Um, so I believe. I believe that's all we've got time for today. Uh, I seriously got to stop doing that. Um, but yeah, we're doing, we're, we're producing a stupid amount of iron now, just in these areas here, uh, which is all nice. It's all level, and the next part's all going to be level as well. So yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this, then please do hit that like button. If you want to see more, then please do subscribe. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button, and of course, always leave a comment, guys, because I love hearing from you. So. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.